Good afternoon and welcome to TPA's uh, second uh, conference on Lego for tax, or as we call it, building blocks for tax. Um, we, we're going to be talking about what we call the next digital transformation. Today we have uh, Gerald and, and Jeroen and uh, Ronald uh, talking about uh, uh, digital workflows within SAP and uh, Daniel uh, is going to talk about a compliance tracker which talks to that uh, SAP environment. Welcome everyone. Uh, this is uh, the second of a whole series. I think the next slide shows you, if I'm not mistaken, the, the full series and, and also hides, highlights to you. We've done already um, a, a VAT to VAT end to end technology with R7 VAT um, in November last year, together with the compliance tracker. Today, as I indicated uh, before, Onera X will, uh, together with, uh, with uh, eBright, will uh, showcase the uh, compliance tracker and the uh, interaction with uh, the tax engine, the enhanced tax engine functionality within SAP. Um, the series will continue, as you see in January, all the way up to, uh, uh, to April, May, with uh, different uh, building blocks uh, to, uh, to showcase with you. Uh, the, setup of of this conference is that we show per webinar two building blocks who are also connected to each other if they're not already connected there there's a connector being built uh, uh on, on on the spot to uh to get that um traction at the end of uh april may we expect uh, to have a whole box of lego building blocks uh to uh to do different configurations uh, in, in a reasonable time frame, all uh, full proven uh, uh, concepts with uh, at a, at an affordable price. I think that's the whole setup of uh, this whole webinar series uh, we're looking at. You have sources of data like SAP and Xero and other ERP systems. You have applications, uh, a TPG need transfer pricing tool and R7 tool on that. Um, and, and you have a, 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 an Office 365, which is a process and communication tool. Um, all of that is, is set up to root data sets to a digital mailbox to the tax authorities. And, and one of the companies who is dealing with data architecture uh, on the side of the tax authority, so almost like on the, on the other side of the digital mailbox, it's, it's called Visor. Um, and then the tax authorities obviously receive packages of data in a fairly st uh, streamlined XML type of format. So data, as, as this uh, slide says, is the fuel of the digital transformation, uh, but you need to have a governance around it and you need to make sure the, the data is not fragmented and unstructured, but is structured and concise in its message even if later on the data set uh, uh, has to be defended in, in, in courts. This is sort of telling you where the tools are we are talking about today. So we have SAP on the left in the ERP basket. We have the, the, the product wheel of uh, Onera X uh, you see on the, on the right side together with the compliance tracker. They're more on the application side uh, again, the, 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 the product wheel of uh, Onera X works within SAP. So the, the picture is a little bit deceiving. It looks like it's a separate uh, layer on top of that, but I can tell you it's a layer on the inside of the SAP. Uh, but uh, um, Ronald and Jeroen and Gerald will, uh, will tell you more about that. These were, were a few questions we, our, our clients were sharing with us. Uh, so, so is there a tracking opportunity on tax compliance progress in SAP? Because that uh, SAP is known not per se to be a process tool, a process and communication tool, like the Office 365 is. Uh, another question uh, uh, corporate shared with us, uh, basically, can we find a replacement for our 
uh, our spreadsheet. So if we do our headquarter costs uh, still in spreadsheets, would you have an, uh, an automated solution, uh, preferably even within SAP? Uh, because then we don't need to extract the data first, uh, rework it and inject it back again, but uh, it would uh, save us some workflows and automate some workflows at the same time. Um, and then uh, also the need for tools that generate accurate and reliable data. But as, as you have reliable data, you can also do reliable outlier analysis, which was the introduction um, I just made a few minutes ago. Yeah. Done? Yeah, thanks. Uh, the compliance tracker uh, in the last uh, webinar, that was a couple of weeks ago, uh, we also talked about it. It's uh, it's the newest tool in the toolbox of uh, of TPA and also of, of eBright. Uh, together with uh, with TPA, we have uh, been talking with a lot of clients, uh, gathered a lot of feedback, and uh, we're improving it uh, uh, by the week. Um, so when we talk about building blocks, we're really talking about connectors and and triggers. Uh, something in one tool triggers something else in another tool. Uh, action reaction. Um, and a few of the triggers that the compliance tracker um, has uh, are, for example, uh, status update. Um, so uh, someone finished preparation, a foul. Um, so someone else needs to do a quality check on that. So that triggers um, an action um, on the side probably of the head of tax. Um, then automated deadlines, for example if someone has something to do a preparation to do uh, but simply um, has way more things to do so is too busy to take care of it and simply forgets uh, a notification is triggered either by email or uh, an in-app notification that is also sent to the head of text uh, so it makes sure that um, no fines are uh, are get um, so uh, it prevents uh, work being left. I'm now giving the word to uh, Onera X. I believe I'm giving it to Jeroen first, and afterwards to to Ronald, who is going to present a demo of Onera X. Um, some of observations in finance and tech tech technology that you might share are the use of external add-on tools used in financial processes that Excel plays a too important role in this. Data is not available real time. No drill down options, no control of data analysis. It is time, it's a time consuming and frustrating process. Information is quickly outdated. Single source of truth is necessary at this moment, compliant and labor intensive. With our SAP integrated solutions, we are able to manage the complexity to accelerate the financial processes. No add on consolidation and tax directly in the accounting environment. You can drill down to details and always be in control. Real time insight into figures with a clear dashboard into SAP. With the workflow, we ensure that things happen at the right time. Finance and tax are back in control. Export data and to other tools is still possible, but the key data is, is, is there where it belongs in your system of records, SCP. Onera X started built a generic accounting application in SCP. In order to further development this application and fill it, it with financial data we are developing a generic uh, consolidation and transfer pricing to an SCP. the main advantages of the solution are fully transparent with other trail uses the basis of SCP, access to currency due to the real-time consolidation the close will be faster acquisitions and merchants Dividend investments can be easily accounting for. Kilter Excel and other add on consolidation tools have become things of the past. Due to the dynamic design, the company is back into control and cost savings can be realized. 
I will give a short uh, demo of the dashboard we created. It's a dashboard uh, running on uh, SAP. Uh, HANA database is an in-memory database from SAP, which is running uh, very fast. Uh, we have the possibility to uh, show uh, tables. We have the possibility to show uh, graphs. And in those graphs, we can uh, show some uh, information about, uh, for example, turnover, tax, net profit. Uh, you can uh, open them and close them. You can scroll around uh, the map. We also have different types of graphs. Um, so this is uh, for the ETR. On the on, from left to right, we have the percentage, uh, and you can see multiple countries. For example, in this example, it's uh, Denmark, uh, Spain, France, Italy, the Netherlands, and Poland. Um, and we also have the possibility to show information which is not stored in SAP, but which is coming from outside. So in this uh, graph, we show the information from uh, Yahoo. It's the stock value of SAP uh, at this uh, moment. So that's the value of today. And uh, we go back, uh, you can go back uh, in time uh, for, uh, for a longer period. We also have the possibility to generate uh, PowerPoints. So, um, and we have a few uh, sample graphs uh, uh, coming. Uh, I can open it. Uh, it's uh, this is an example. So uh, we have multiple graphs and, and data, which is from the dashboard that can be presented and saved in a, in a PowerPoint uh, presentation. So uh, you do not have to copy it, but you can uh, embed it directly. Uh, and we also have a dynamic reporting, but just before the uh webinar we had uh, some issues with the server so the data is very small on the on the bottom but we can uh, select uh, this is uh, dynamic reporting so we can select uh, multiple fields from uh, from uh, a table i want to have uh, a certain year a general ledger with the description and i have uh, four uh, sample companies um, and so the, the data is also shown on the bottom but that's a bit small at this moment so i can also export it to excel uh, let me see. And here we have the data uh, from uh, in uh, in Excel. So we have the, the GL account, the description, and we have the different uh, company codes. Uh, any adjustment that has been made uh, is also uh, stored, and we have the total of the four companies uh, after the adjustment. Um, and we. Um, also have the possibility to drill down from the dynamic report. Um, and so when uh, I have this company, that's 500501, I have uh, here a, a booking from the that's coming directly from SAP, and I can drill down to the details of that financial posting. And so we have we present the aggregated data. You can analyze it. You can uh, select a, a certain uh, GL account. You can drill down till the specific uh, financial posting. Uh, another part is the tax provisioning. Uh, we have uh, uh, a general uh, generic setup. So we have the profit before tax. We have the permanent differences, deferred differences, the totals uh, and other items. Uh, all the data is uh, retrieved uh, real time from SAP. Um, and we have uh, and aggregated it on a certain level. So the exempt income, for example, we can uh, go to the details of that uh, that amount, and we see there are three postings. Uh, when I select a specific posting, I can I get the details of that specific posting. And so the the most uh, important benefit of the solution we have is that uh, the data is extracted real time from SAP, and that uh, you have the possibility to drill down to the lowest level and to see the details uh, for specific postings. And you can search for if there's some difference or if there's uh, a deviation you want to uh, deep dive in, you can uh, use the, this functionality. Uh, that's it uh, for me, Steve. Uh, Ronald, uh, a question uh, to you. Yeah. Um, the, 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 why why would people look for a solution within SAP? Um, the, the, how about what do you see as the 
the, the major advantages uh, to, to get very close, uh, sitting very close on the data uh, where you treat the data and you inject the data uh, at, at, uh, in the same environment. Yeah, uh, we do not inject data, we just uh, extract uh, and aggregate the, the, the details for all the financial postings. Um, and the benefit is you do not have to uh, extract uh, data from your uh, legacy system, from your uh, yeah, system of records, and upload it in an uh, external tool uh, where it's aggregated, where you don't have uh, insight in all the details. And if corrections need to be made, they are uh, mostly made in Excel, so the, they are not reflected in the core system. So the next period, you have the same, uh, you have to make the same corrections. You you face the same issues as you had in the previous period. So if you correct it directly in SAP, so you have real time access. You're sitting on the actual data. You uh, correct it and you refresh the the, the selection. Then the uh, cor uh, yeah the, the corrected data is available. So you have. You're working with the actual figures. Uh, so that means if you, if you, for example, in an SAP environment, would collect all the data for, for uh, which uh, all the cost data, which is triggered because your your uh, ten of your companies perform headquarter functions, then you yeah. can actually uh, collect and aggregate that data to use your words and, and uh, put the right uplifts, allocation keys in, in the system to get the rework data real time into SAP. Yeah, we, had a, we, had a, we have a case at the customer of ours where we have uh, done something uh, the way you just described. It's collecting a head cost, uh, headquarter uh, costs and uh, by certain uh, uh, algorithms it's uh, uh, yeah, diversed uh, over multiple uh, companies, uh, and it's uh, yeah, it's done based on the actual cost data from the core system. Uh, yes. Okay, so that that saves time, and and how how easy it is to organize a process within SAP uh, at that level. So, what what is the complexity from a governance perspective? Um, well, then the the in in the in the past, eh, SAP was a, 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 yeah a big system. It was e difficult to uh, to be agile, agile to 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 react on on uh, changes to react on uh, demands from business. But with uh, the new technologies, the the the, the new uh, architecture of SAP, the in-memory database, the, uh, the the development time is much uh, is much less than it what it used to be. So you're talking in uh, weeks instead of months. Um, so uh, yeah, that, that's a big benefit for the for the companies. Uh. Okay, very. Uh... Very insightful. I think uh, this is uh, where, where uh, the philosophy is uh, tax authorities need a uh, package of data through their digital mailbox. And, and here you're working very close with the data. I, I guess you, you can scan data, you can cleanse data, you can uh, put integrity testing on data within SAP, maybe a lot easier than on an Excel spreadsheet base where obviously it is a personalized spreadsheet in a lot of cases so you bring it very close to where you uh, want to your tax relevant data being created um, uh, to feed uh, tax forms with yeah and, and another big advantage is that um, because it's all in the same system you have uh, the complete audit trail and so it's in, if someone wants to change the data it's also locked in sap so it's, uh, you can uh, it's visible who changed who made a booking, what date, what was the, uh, yeah, everything is locked in SAP. So you you cannot just change the data. It's all uh, open uh, and it's visible for everyone for all the trails. What what was the reason? Why is it changed? Uh, what was changed? Who did it? When was it done? So that's also a big advantage. Yeah. 
We we talked about headquarter cost allocation, and we you, could, yeah. you showed uh, uh, Ronald uh, the the tax accounting environment, uh, which uh, which uh, Harold uh, is, uh, is is obviously his background um, to to configure that. Um, what what other applications uh, for in-house tax people would would the system bring to the table? Transfer pricing, for example. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, uh, it's one of the uh, the other applications. Uh, yeah, so we we uh, we we register the contracts between uh, the manufacturer and the principal, and we uh, we can report um, yeah accurate on on deviations between the contract and the actual transfer pricing. So if the Transfer pricing uh, contract says we have an uplift of five percent, and the 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 actual is uh, three point five. Uh, so so the user will be notified before the invoice is created. So we uh, in that way we we try to avoid any corrections after the invoice is created and sent. But we uh, try to make clear and to uh, make fit make make uh, visible if there's any deviation within a bandwidth. Uh, for uh, for an invoice, a delivery, uh, whatsoever. So you you you're basically streamlining the true up mechanism, which always creates a lot of over hours uh, or overwork for in house tax people, uh, especially around the, these days. Huh? Yes. yes, yes, yes. You can also export data to add on tools, uh, Steve, uh, for PET, for transfer for, for transfer pricing, but also for um, uh, uh, CBCR. Yeah, I think uh, especially that that uh, uh, collecting and aggregating data, cleansing it, and pushing it into forms like CBCR or VAT returns, for that matter, uh, only leaves you with the uh, XML conversion in those uh, tools, I guess, to uh, to throw it through the, that digital mailbox with uh, with the tax authorities. Yes. Um, is, is there anything on the on the product wheel uh, we we're looking at which we haven't addressed yet? Gerald? Yes, I see. Um, uh, uh, the center is that we have the structures, eh? and we have the legal structure, the management reporting structure, and the fiscal structure. These structures you can use for ex. Uh, collecting data. The second is the gap, is the, the, the ledgers you, you can use, the tax ledger, IFRS ledger, US GAAP ledger, local ledger. And when you use these things, you can um, uh, calculate uh, with all data in SAP. And then you can do tax accounting, and then you can do uh, uh, and the, the operational transfer pricing, uh, you, you have all the data in SAP then. And, and the advantages, you can also uh, uh, take uh, data from external tools uh, like um, 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 uh, other, other um, uh, SAP systems, you can uh, import them also in SAP for 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 the use of uh, uh, the the, um, uh, the information you need. Yeah, like a, like an HR database if you need the people functions uh, as part of your transfer pricing uh, reporting. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, very good. Um, let's see whether there's any comments or questions by the attendees. Uh, Daniel, do you did you pick up any questions, or uh, if anyone of you online now has a question, please uh, please do share that with us. Uh, we're happy to uh, to address that. Yep. Um, yeah, the 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 next slide sort of is um, I I I, I want to connect the two tools. Huh? So does um, SAP really give you a dashboard? Yes, it has an internal dashboard when you can click, click through as Ronald said to relevant documents, even to the level of the individual entries, uh, journal entries or financial data entries you you have created. Um, what, what 
what SAP uh, obviously is a, a bigger system, although much more agile, as uh, Ronald explained, and Gerald and, uh, and, and Jeroen as well. Uh, but uh, how do we see the interaction between the compliance tracker Daniel presented and uh, the SAP uh, Onera X uh, solution? Uh, is a little bit de de depicted on this uh, slide. Uh, so there's a lot of documents created automatically in the SAP environment, which signals to the compliance trackers. There's an, al an automated allocation of, um, of uh, you have the concept of RACI, uh, responsible, accountable, um, consulted on and inf informed about. So here also an automatic uh, allocation of CNI users uh, based on the hierarchy and SAP can be uh, fed into the compliance tracker. Uh, obviously, the, the, the process in SAP can give triggers uh, which automatically uh, create a status update in the compliance tracker. Um, also, final return summaries could be added uh, as, an, uh, as an, an, an attachment to, uh, to your compliance tracker. Um, the, the, the whole approval process, which obviously if you have to run that uh, within SAP, it's, it's very doable as well. But if you have the mobile uh, as, as your separate in-house tax environment to control all of these, it, it, it would make life a lot easier to have that uh, manager um, being uh, being on the compliance tracker and and organize the approval of uh, filing the returns which then the process is obviously as we told the data set is being uh, converted to a form the form is converted into xml and here we go again to the digital mailbox of tax authorities um, there's a synchronization of uh, of calendars and workflow status update uh, obviously uh, give signals both ways. So if you change the compliance tracker, it will uh, create triggers in the in the SAP environment, and and the approval of managers for return filing. I think we uh, we already just um, um, discussed as uh, I see as a doubling element of uh, of these. So this is exactly what we do. We have two Lego blocks, and we we're connecting both because they are complementary uh, in, the, in, the, in nature. And when they talk to each other, they uh, could enhance the value of, uh, of both into specific situations. So I, I'm, I, I, I like to also ask uh, uh, Daniel, Gerald and, uh, and Ronald whether they have any further observations on this connector position we're, we're looking at here. Yes, the data in SAP you can use for, um, uh, for, for, for the compliance tracker. You can uh, put in the compliance tracker. Uh, each coming uh, webinars, we will also connect, uh, show you the connectors. And, and uh, in the following scenes, we will start addressing a little bit more the different functionality of connectors. Um, a lot of in-house people are struggling uh, with, uh, at least uh, they, they need to, to ask the right questions in a nice kind of format to both finance and um, uh, and and uh, IT. And, and sometimes if IT is fully loaded, they need to start uh, making their hands dirty on, on Alterx or other tools uh, themselves. Um, again, here is a, a more integral and integrated tool within SAP itself. So you don't need all those uh, add-ons like Alterx uh, um, uh, from, from the get-go. Um, I think uh, I see two questions coming up. Um, one is, I have seen that there is a consolidation function at a certain point in time. And maybe this is a question for Gerard or Ronald. Uh, what platform do you use for consolidation? I, I think it's SAP, or is it the platform? Yeah, we, we we consolidate. Uh, we, we we retrieve the data from the uh, the financial postings in SAP, and we consolidate uh, within SAP. Uh, so the platform is SAP. 
So it's it's a full fully loaded functionality, uh, including yep. the consolidation. So it's not like HFM is on top of this this exercise. No, no, you don't have. Uh, we do not export the data, so we uh, use the real time data from the SAP database, uh, and we use that for the consolidation. Thanks, uh, Ronald. Uh, a second yeah. question, probably also for for either one of you. <clears throat> Which set system release does your solution work on? Can this be used uh, if old SAP, SAP systems or simple finance on HANA database, um, uh, but not, uh, sorry, or, but not last, oh, I, I think this is sort of a typo. Can this be used if old, ses, old SAP systems or simple finance databases move to a SAP for HANA? system as well well we can uh, our, our solution works on the uh, ECC uh, um, uh, release from SAP so that's on a, a traditional database and it also works on the in-memory databases so that simple finance is is one of the solutions but also the s4 uh, suite uh, it's also working on so it works on uh, from uh, uh, seven Point three uh, and upwards it works. SAP seven point three. Okay, so that's the simple answer. So seven, uh, sub seven point three version up uh, is is yeah. what it all can can capture. Yeah, very clear. Um, going to just uh, take you uh, a few minutes to say, okay, what 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 have we been doing so far uh, and last year we've created uh, user experience days for tax professionals uh, we uh, published playbooks where the why question why would you add technology to the next generation compliance factories was being addressed as well as that the, the fact that tax risk management would be restated to be tax data analytics in the in the future um, we will be posting um, the various uh, webinars on tax data analytics. So how do you create a good architecture on your data? Uh, we gave a few illustrations today already, but uh, this is a series of uh, 11 uh, tape, tapes, sound bites, as it says here, on tax data analytics uh, and, and tax, uh, data, tax data management and tax data architecture. Um, then obviously these uh, this whole series of ten uh, episodes of uh, Lego for Tax webinars will be uh, will be on that as well. Um, next two weeks, uh, a, a white paper about the future of tax in 2025 will be published, and and uh, that's especially the uh, impact of technology on our tax in-house tax work spots will be addressed there. Um, where where this whole tax technology fits into, and and last but not least, we've asked a lot of corporates what what is the what is your top uh, ten uh, of challenges you're dealing with if you uh, if you like to get your tax workflow um, in in a more more digital transformation. Um, this tax technology journey will be in a clickable version uh, on, on our website and uh, very likely in, uh, I think in two weeks, we have uh, our third Lego for Tax webinar coming up. Uh, that, that, uh, at that time, we, have, uh, we will have released this clickable uh, uh, to the market and uh, to your interest. Uh, the, the whole approach is that a lot of people are at a different level of um, uh, appreciation or, or awareness or understanding or interest of on tax technology. So if you just read this in 30 seconds, that, that might be enough for some people. Um, and some people might want to make their hands dirty on tax data analytics. Uh, some others might be following these webinar series uh, uh, because it's, it's their daily practice. Um, heads of tax and CFOs might be more interested in, okay, what does the future of tax bring me in 2025 and what does that mean for the team uh, I've organized today and should I not change my recruitment policy 
um, alongside with it. And uh, as I already said, uh, just a, having a practical checklist of what are the, the uh, challenges uh, uh, of, of other corporates is always interesting to, uh, to, to be using for your own record as well. So this is a clickable version again uh, to be released in the next two weeks if, uh, if we look here already uh, next week. Um, another way of looking at this is you want you want to really train yourself on text and technology this this could be a good starting uh, place to uh, to to take uh, to take your ambition forward well thank you very much for attending this uh, second in a, in a series of 10 webinars uh, on uh, lego for tax and um, wishing you uh, a great day great evening and uh, hope to see you next time Thank you very much.